Hi guys, welcome to today's video. So today I wanted to talk about um, a little bit about why we didn't do a gender reveal party, which is very popular right now. Why we didn't share our gender with anyone, or should I say, the general public or most people that we knew. Um, and how we kept it a secret, basically. So, let's get started. So first off, Ben really didn't want to find out the gender, and I really did, which is complete opposite of what normally both of us would want to do, um, but that's a completely different story. Um, second, we decided to find out, and again, that's a different story. We decided to find out, and that was a mutual agreement, and it should be, um, I know some doctors and nurses say it's whatever the um, woman says since she's carrying the baby but we wanted to agree on it. So we ended up finding out we had a handful of people that we told. I guess I'll be telling you how we kept this a secret first and then I'll tell you why. Um, <clears throat> so we had a handful of people that we both agreed on. Um, this included our parents, so immediate parents, um, our siblings. We each had an aunt that we told and each had a grandmother that we told. And that was it. We explained to them our reasoning so they would understand why we're keeping it a secret. Um, and that's basically all we told. Ow. We actually both also had a very close friend that we told as well. Sorry, I almost forgot about that. That was like the most important thing. Um, with a secret like that, it's like super hard to keep a secret. So anyways, that is how we kept it a secret. Whenever we were talking about the baby, I would practice saying the baby and even in our home, I would refer to um, the baby as the baby and would never say a pronoun at all and that really helped keep track um, and never slip up. If I was always using the same language all the time, um, that really worked. The other reason that I was able, able to keep it a secret was the fact that I was not sure if the test was positive. Um, when they do the ultrasound test, there is a chance that the anatomy scan can be incorrect, as in they can be kind of inconclusive and perhaps they made the wrong call um, and so I was nervous that perhaps the ultrasound was incorrect and I didn't want to refer to um, the gender as the wrong thing for this entire time and then once the baby is born find out it's the opposite gender. So thankfully that didn't happen but that was one thing that I was in the back of my mind so I couldn't actually say that the gender was a boy or a girl. It just was um, hard for me to stay attached to it and just in case. I just didn't want that to happen. Um, so that was how we kept it a secret. Um, I think we only had one slip up and it was somebody who wasn't connected with anyone else. So they weren't really able to slip up. And they, we were able to explain after slipping that um, why we were keeping it a secret. So why we kept it a secret. Being that it was our first baby, um, well first I should say it was a compromise because Ben wanted to find, didn't want to find out and I did, but there was a few benefits to doing this and reasons that kind of helped us um, justify doing this. So first off, it's your first baby, it's our first baby I should say, um, and we were able to really register for things that were gender neutral, so a lot of those big items like high chairs and strollers and that way we could reuse those in the future if we were to have another child or want to use them again um, or for easier resale if we wanted to sell them in the future. Um, so that was the first reason. Second reason is for showers and I'm totally guilty of this at baby showers. If I know the gender, I want to acknowledge that I know that it's a boy or I want to acknowledge that it's a girl. So I buy them a small item off their registry and then I buy them an outfit that's corresponding with the gender. Unfortunately, not unfortunately, as a new parent, a lot of those items on the registry are actual serious needs that the couple or mother needs. Um, so by bypassing and buying an outfit, you're almost, um, you're just not helping as much as you could. Outfits are easy to come by as far as hand-me-downs, um, second-hand stores, clearance items. Um, so clothing is not as necessary much of a necessity and might be a more fun item for and so it was more so those big items that we um, a new parent might actually need 
um, especially with their firstborn. So keeping the gender a secret for that reason was really helpful and we were able to just have those immediate members that we told um, be able to appreciate the gender and they could um, find gifts that were more gender specific and kind of be um, feel special I guess that should I should say um, and then lastly Ben was also like why does everybody need to know it's you know it shouldn't actually matter um, and it doesn't really matter in the long run but whatever you choose to do is perfectly up to you you are the parent um, and if you're watching this and you're expecting congratulations and thanks for watching bye guys